I got a motherfucking rant coming. I love Joy Sparkle BS and uh, I, yeah, I have a bit of a rant. I don't know how heated this is gonna get. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh. I am getting growingly frustrated by the YouTube community. Um, but I've been learning a lot. And when I came on, guys, I came on this really naive. I came on wanting to make friends. I um, I'm done with the bullshit and the hypocrisy from people. And it's so fucking stifling. It, it's to the point where I, I've gotten to where I don't enjoy making videos a lot of days. Point where I've had a lot of anxiety. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about a few things. If you guys have followed me and you know, and you followed me on Twitter, you followed me on you now, um, some of you are going to immediately know what I'm talking about. Others of you aren't. And I'm sorry, but at this point, I will not be going into details because unfortunately, in this situation, the people involved want me to go into details. They want drama and I'm not going to give it to them. But let me explain a couple things and how I'm feeling. part of helping a story not too long ago and for my own reasons I stopped talking about it because I want to protect people involved and as a result there was a group of people who were also involved in helping that all decided that they were going to turn on me because I was doing something wrong they slandered me They made up lies about me, criminal allegations saying that I, I did illegal activities. They slandered and ruined relationships I had with other YouTubers, some of my biggest supporters. Literally, like people walked away saying, well, it looks like she's a criminal. No, I have done shit wrong. In fact, in this situation, I stayed quiet when I didn't have to. Well, here's where I'm frustrated. These people who have done these awful things to me, I have rarely spoken up for myself. I've only done one video on YouTube. These exact same people turned around very recently and put out a lot of information that I was trying to protect to keep quiet did things that could be looked at as damaging. So I love the double standard here, guys. The double standard now is that um, when I do something, I'm a criminal and I'm a piece of shit. But when other people do something, totally okay, and they're heroes. So they can do something, but I can't. And you know what that tells me? These people don't give a shit about what they're trying to help. These people don't really care about the people involved. They care about getting attention. That really they were upset because they felt like I was stealing their spotlight. You know how shitty that is? tell you guys something. When it comes to YouTube, I don't need one subject or another subject to get a spotlight. I can talk about lots of different subjects and I've been proven at this point that people like a lot of what I have to say. On different occasions, I've gotten four different bumps on my channel of, of an influx of people and hello and welcome and I love everybody. And I'm not trying to be arrogant. But what I'm saying is I've moved on from the situation. I have said when the time is right, when people are safe, I will speak. However, these people continue to attack me. And you know the worst part? I really wish I could help more. And nobody knows what I'm doing behind the scenes. I've gotten a really big, I don't give a fuck attitude. See, I thought I was here to make friends and have fun and share. And that's what the intention was. But what I'm learning is YouTube, not everybody, but a lot of the content creators, not all of them, are fickle, they're full of crap, 
up and they just want attention and they will throw you under the bus to get it. There is no ethics and no morality with some of these people and it's sick. So you can put out sensitive information that yes, legally you can, just like legally I could, even though y'all slandered me. Tried to make hashtag put me in prison, remember that? I didn't forget and a lot of my people didn't forget. You can do it and that's okay. I do it and you're out to destroy my life, which is self-admitted. What's wrong with you? And you know what's wrong with these people? They are so lost in themselves of their own personal power, they are desperately clinging on to a, to a topic that they have systematically killed. Killed the topic because they don't believe in their personal power to do anything else or talk about anything else other than to continue to slander me and try to get attention from that other topic. It's sick. There are things going on I can't talk about, and there are more ways I wish I could help. But my hands are tied because anything I do at this point, I will get attacked. And I know the situation. The worst part is I'm sitting on so much evidence. And the people around me who are close to me, they know and they're aware of this. I have several people who can back me up on this. And I don't care what anybody thinks. And then it goes even more in other areas. Like for instance, there was a content creator that I really respect. Smaller YouTuber than I am, but I love this person. We've been tweeting back and forth. Love this person to death. Finally reached out, you wanna do a collab on Islam? Here comes the fucking group. And then others, other bigger YouTubers. I'm not gonna mention names because they'd probably get a boner if I did. All these other people saying, she don't know shit about it. Put me down, X, Y, and Z. She's, fu don't fucking mess with her. And then the content creator really nicely was like, hey, so, um, you know, do you know about this topic? And I was like, actually, I do. I actually lived in Europe. I saw the problem firsthand take over one of the cities I live in. Yeah, I do have some perspective. Because apparently, like, my, my word means nothing now. And you know what? That's fine. And I'm not mad. It, there are specific people I'm upset with. And don't take this as aimed at anybody. So for instance, I love so many people on this platform. I still love Mike and Actor. Um, Rob Novak has been nice. Blood Dance Dark Moon has been really nice to me. Uh, Bloody Fissures, they have been really supportive. Who the fuck else? Um, Andy and Chris Worski have been wonderful. Suit Yourself's been wonderful. I know I'm missing people right now. But I'm not trying to sit here and say this to talk shit on other content creators, but I am saying that I'm done. I'm done with the hypocrisy. I'm done sticking out my neck to help other people when I realize they're also backstabbing me. I'm done watching everybody fucking just scrape and, and, and try to do shady, nefarious things to get views and make sure they outview the other person and get, and, and I'm just, I'm done with it. So from here on out, it's a fucking joy show. It's a joy sparkle BS show. No longer, I'm, I see all these other people, like the fact that these people tried to literally destroy a collaboration, okay, fuck it, I'm a lone wolf now. Then it doesn't mean I won't be helpful. If you guys go look at the collabs I do, most of the collabs are to help other people. Those are typically the collabs I do. I've had one collab with Andy Worski that gave me a bump that was on his channel, which I thank him for, and one with Rexion, which I also thank him for. I did something with Second Clancy too, which was really nice. Otherwise, I'm typically helping other people and I'm still happy to help other people, but at this point, I've been so burned, so slandered, so shit on, I'm done. I'm done. I don't need other people for a fucking come up. I will talk about the things I'm passionate about and I will talk about the things that I care about. And hopefully, if you feel called to, you can hang out and I will do as much as I can to help other people. Now, please don't take me wrong. I'm still gonna be me. I still wanna be generous. I still wanna be kind but I am done giving a shit about what anyone thinks. Anyone. Okay, you don't like the amount of videos I do? Sorry. You don't like that I sometimes harp on a specific subject for a while? Sorry, because remember, everybody else can do it. When I do it, I'm the asshole. Even when I'm trying to help. As I'm trying to low-key help a situation I don't talk about anymore, I'm getting kicked in the face left and right. Fine. 
I don't give a fuck. You know, it's funny, and I never thought this was gonna be the case, but I wanna give Copper Cab a shout out because Copper Cab recently did a video about the skeptic community. And talking about the hypocrisy in it and the bullshit in it. And as much as I love the skeptic community, Bearing's been awesome to me. Like I said, I wanna name off, there are a lot of people who've been awesome to me, but there's so much bullshit inside of it. And on YouTube, there's so much bullying, and I'm all about free speech. I'm all about free speech, but where the fuck is morality? Where the fuck is decency and common sense gone? Gonna come at me and try to slander me and hate me and just say shit just because? Fuck you. My biggest, sincerest fuck you. And you know what's funny? Let me retract the fuck you. Because at this point, I just don't give a fuck. I don't care. You can say whatever you need to. I don't care. But I'm gonna tell you, a lot of people are gonna be real fucking embarrassed come the time I do talk. And you know what's funny? They're not gonna apologize. Even though they will be have had been so far proven wrong, they're not gonna apologize. They're so far gone in their ego, they will never have humility when it comes to me because they would have to admit to everyone, with all the evidence I have, they would have to admit that they were mean to me, knowingly, systematically, and apologize. They don't have that kind of humility because they're too busy trying to play victim, get views, bully other people, and then turn around and do the exact same things they claim other people are doing.